Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the bedroom remodel. We are almost done down to the finishing work. We're going to be starting the floor today and the floor starts with an underlayment. Since we're doing an underlayment, you can probably guess that we're doing laminate flooring. We decided to do laminate flooring in all the bedrooms and the living room. When we were looking for flooring, we really took a long time to search all of our options. We looked at hardwood flooring, bamboo flooring, engineered hardwood flooring, and laminate flooring. And we decided to go laminate because one, it's cost effective. Laminate flooring really is inexpensive when compared to a lot of the other types of floorings. Uh, number two, it's pretty easy to install and de-install. So <laughs> like, we can change it in the future without a big hassle. If you put down a hardwood floor, it's nailed or stapled down or glued down. And with laminate, you don't need to use any like nailing, flooring nailers. So it can be replaced, it can be worked with. And as far as like value of home, I know some people are concerned about resale value. We've really seen that in this type of home, there's no big difference between a real hardwood floor versus a laminate floor. Most people don't know, don't care. Mm -hmm. um, if we were doing like a hundred year old renovate, uh, like building that we're renovating, we'd probably do real hardwood just to keep a good theme. In this house, laminate is going to be better and laminate is more durable than hardwood or engineered hardwood. You know, they have some, uh, they have laminate flooring that's like real hardwood veneer, but even those, they scratch and dent easy. It's just the nature of wood. Wood is soft. And that's what's good about laminate is it really doesn't scratch that easily. Laminate has a really hard layer. It's not real wood on top. So it's just, it's, it's durable. So durability, cost, and ease of installation. That wins for us. Plus we got a really cool looking laminate that we think is going to work awesome with everything. Yeah. So let's get this done and then we'll show you the floor that we got. down as smooth and nicely as we can get it. You might have noticed that we stapled around the perimeter and anywhere that was kind of stretching weird, pulling weird. A lot of people just put it down. We wanted to staple it because we don't like it when it's shifting around on us when we're trying to lay the floor. Um, as long as the staples are in good and flat, it shouldn't be a problem. So here's the moment you guys have been waiting for. You want to see what style of floor did we buy? What color did we choose for the room? We had such a hard time deciding. We spent days and days looking at flooring <laughs> because A, we were in a budget, so we couldn't get the ones that we wanted. We, seen, we saw some that we said, ooh, those are cool. Just over budget, it would cost so much money. And then B, it's like, what's gonna match with the furniture? What's gonna match with the woodwork? Yeah. You know, with the, you know, it's really hard because the tones in some of these wood floors are just all wrong for everything else mm -hmm. that we're doing. We think we got a winner. We went a little bit bold and we're gonna try this. You can see that's a pretty intense <laughs> pattern, a very blonde natural wood contrasted with a very brown dark tone. We've never gone this funky on a flooring. <laughs> With the room being kind of plain, a lot of white, and some wood tones, the floor is going to pop. It's going to be crazy. We like this floor because it has this natural blonde wood. This is really what we wanted on a floor, a really light floor. Yeah. But a lot of them were odd tones of, like, I don't know, odd tones. This one is really blonde and it's gonna go awesome with that natural light feel, the, some of the trim. We're gonna go with some pine wood and stuff like that. So we got that and then contrasted by this really brown. And this brown is cool because it's not red. It's just a nice 
brown. That just gives some flair, some pop, and also ties into maybe some darker wood pieces that we could bring into the house. Yeah. Because yeah. we were kind of afraid of doing like an all light colored floor. So this kind of like evens it out. And it's going to look really cool when it's done. So you basically can match anything to this. Light, dark, it's a win-win. Yeah. But we just liked it. We thought it was cool. We thought it stood out. It's got a really interesting character to it. So we can't wait to see how it looks all put together. Some of the, brown, some of the boards have less blonde or more brown, you know, different. It's going to look really cool. So we're going to get cotton. First, we got to take off the uh, the one edge so we can start along the wall. So after we get those ripped, we're going to start and it should go pretty quick. What do you guys think? Be honest. <laughs> you can post it now or you can wait till we're done. When it's done, it always looks better. Yeah. So I got my edges sawed off straight so I can start in the corner. We're going to get this row. The first couple rows is the hardest. And I need some shins. All right, we got our first row installed, looking good so far. I cut some shims. We got a bunch of quarter inch shims that I cut from some two by fours. And that one ain't easy. The rest is gonna be super easy. We got some staggers already cut. The, hard, the, the, the hardest part of this was just figuring out how we wanted to stagger it, because we're really picky with how our staggers look. And we wanted it to end in specific places. We figured out what we want. We're gonna get working on it. We're gonna put you guys on time lapse so you can watch the whole thing. We got the floor all done last night and we wanted to wait until today to show it to you because it was just too dark to show it properly. I'm sure you could see in the time lapse it was getting pretty dim and bad lighting. It looks awesome. It really came out cool. Really good. We're happy with it. We can't wait to see the rest of it come together with the baseboards and everything we're going to be putting in here. We didn't have any problems. The installation went really smoothly. Just yeah. put it in and turned out great. So let's show you the final finished floor. Ready? For the big reveal? Mm-hmm. They've already seen it. <laughs> but look at how exciting. Look it's so cool. unique and just interesting. This is one crazy floor. You saw us laying it, but look at it in the daylight. This looks so cool. It's awesome. I'm happy with it. The coloration is so bold. <laughs> it's unique. It's interesting. It has a lot of personality. And Just, it makes the room pop. Yeah. So that's a pretty unique laminate. Yeah. We've never done a floor like this before. We've always done like the simple wood colored ones. Mm -hmm. And actually this one's cool too because the planks are more narrow than normal, right? Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of laminate look... floors are like seven or eight inches wide. So that makes it look more cool too. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think of the floor? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Would you put a floor like this in your home? Or is it too bold? I think it's cool. A lot of contrast. And it's going to just make everything look awesome, I think. Yeah. It goes along with that natural, woodsy, like, just fresh theme we're going for. 
and we got enough of the same flooring to do the other two bedrooms when they're done. So we've already bought it. We decided to buy it all at once so that we'd have it. And we like wouldn't... in case they stop making it, at least we have enough to do those two rooms. Right, because this would be hard to match. And we may even do this in our living room, we're not sure yet. Yeah. So far, we're really happy with how everything in this room has turned out. Yeah. Happy with this floor that we picked out. Sometimes it's a little scary before you do it because you don't know how it's going to pull together. But um, I think it's cool. I think yeah. it's cool. We're just going cool. We're going whatever we want to do, we're doing it. We're making it happen. And usually, in, well, in the past, I've really been kind of shying away from laminate flooring. I always saw it as like a cheap flooring. And um, I always thought you'd have to get a hardwood floor or something like that. But over time, I've gotten used to it. And I've yeah. kind of taken, I'm always the, like, I kind of stick with the old school. I'm the one that's still doing copper plumbing when everybody's doing packs. I kind of stick with the old ways and I'm trying to get out of that rut and that mentality because a lot of the new stuff gets better and better. It's not, you know, you have a bad experience when the new stuff first comes out and then you never want it again or yeah. something. And they're making it really good now. Yeah, there's a lot of really good flooring options that are affordable and even more environmentally friendly than hardwood flooring, really. Mm -hmm. So, another job done. Awesome. Next is trim work. That means the door and baseboards and all that stuff. And we have a little surprise in store for this wall back here. You'll be seeing that soon. Um, I think that's all we have for now. So until next time, take care. Bye.